when you call the Avengers, but they send the one from Wakanda. <laughs> I remember this one. Oh man, I have seen this one many a time and it's so true. I charge my family for Christmas dinner, even my three-year-old grandkids. Wow, you are literally the opposite of the wholesome grandmas that force feed all the grandchildren. How does it feel to be the opposite of wholesome? I'm not even gonna make the I funny watermark joke because this is how sad I am. I'm just, I'm so upset. Me, when my mom starts being rude to the person that's just trying to do their job, I really put my foot down with my mom on that one once. I swear I did. I don't take any of that on behalf of, well, anybody. I don't care. They could come up and punch me in the dang nose and I'll still say, Mom, you shut up. Nope, you don't do that. You don't do that to people. The baby name Karen is predicted to go extinct in just a few years. Which personally, I think is silly just because someone's gonna replace the Karens eventually. Is it gonna be a Susie or an Ashley or something like that? Oh my God, it's a, a Pecky to Karen, excuse me, Karen to Susie. Okay, that's just cute. It's cute, I like it. My husband and I have shopped here consistently for years. No one cares. But we'll use a different location from now on. No one cares. They will literally lock the doors right in your face if you show up two minutes after closing. No one cares. Oh no. They're closed? After? They're supposed to close? What? I don't know what it is. The people that run this channel just want me to be mad. They want me to be mad all the time. I got mad once, like two years ago, and now this is my life. Also, dang, it's been a long time. I think I've done almost a thousand of these videos. I am killing it right now. Queen of Karens will speak to all of your managers. That is some serious hair. If you see that hair coming to your local IHOP or Denny's, get the hell out of there. Kids playing video games, wouldn't that make you a serial killer? Yeah. Before I cheated on him, things were amazing. After I cheated, it changed. How was I supposed to know there'd be consequences for my actions? Dad, what's a Karen called in Europe? I don't know, what? America Karen? <laughs> it's true though, it's true. <laughs> My ex still works at the same theater that she worked at when we were together, and man, the stories that she still has to tell me about Americans coming in and being the worst goddamn people. She's from the UK, by the way. I didn't mention that in the beginning, and I don't know why I did not. Let's move on. Male Karen friend who will not be getting a happy birthday from me. Well, as of right now at midnight tonight, my Facebook will be going from 290 friends to about 10 to 15 friends. Thank you to the 10 people that have wished me a happy birthday. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were fragile to the point where everyone had to wish you a happy birthday. Look, don't get me wrong, I know it's disappointing. I get sad sometimes when people forget about my birthday, but at the same time, I have forgotten my birthday, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just putting that out there. Call me crazy all you want. Vegans block access for customers wanting milk in four UK cities. Just reach over and grab it. They're probably calcium deficient and easily overpowered. I mean, for real though, what are they gonna do? You don't get to just grab and touch and push people away from something that you feel they shouldn't have. So grab me all you want. It's an open invitation for me to pour some milk on your head. And then you're gonna be real mad, right? Right? Imagine this being your mom, asking for a friend. I love my seven-year-old son's name, Andrew, but I hate the nickname, Andy. When we named him Andrew, we agreed to only use the long version and never the nickname. We moved over the summer, and somehow he has become Andy in his new school. I made an appointment with the teacher to discuss the situation. She apologized and said that she would call him Andrew. She said that she would make one class announcement. As you can imagine, this has been totally ineffective. All the kids are still calling him Andy. I made another appointment with a teacher, but she was not helpful. She said that Andrew never objects to being called Andy and sometimes even introduces himself as Andy. To me, this is irrelevant. He is seven years old, I am his mother, and I get to decide what people call him. No, you don't. She's not willing to correct the other students in the moment when they call him Andy. That's because it's not her goddamn job. I would like to take this matter to the principal. Okay, Karen. My husband feels I'm overreacting. If we don't get this under control now, he'll be Andy for the rest of his life. Well, sure, he's young enough to the point where you can go ahead and suppress things like this to your capabilities, to the, to the best of your ability as a psychotic mom who probably does not deserve the title in the long run. But just imagine when 
Andy grows up, realizes he's always preferred Andy, and permanently goes by Andy, and eventually starts to get pissed off at you for refusing to call him Andy. What's gonna happen, Mom? You can call them Andrew all you want, but everybody else in the world's gonna call them Andy because they prefer that, and their opinion is the only one that matters. I get that there's seven! I understand! You don't have much time to be this controlling. You're running out of time, Mom! Karens will complain about people playing their music too loud, then proceed to play Candy Crush on full volume in a waiting room. <laughs> they really do, though. It's so sad. Karen goes after God. Lawsuits against God. In 1970, Arizonan lawyer Russell T. Tanzi filed a suit against God on behalf of his secretary, Betty Penrose, seeking $100,000 in damages. Penrose blamed God for his negligence, allowing a lightning bolt to strike her house when God failed to turn up in court. Penrose won the case by default. Didn't know you could sue against Act of God? What? Watch for people following you home. She said the gate must close completely before the next car enters and claims I tailgated her. So, she followed me to my house and verbally assaulted me and would not leave my property when I asked her to. Sharing for others to stay safe and watch for this woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, the gate does not have to shut completely in between every single goddamn car. Can you imagine following someone to their house to yell at them and pretend like they don't live here in the neighborhood? Get out of here, douche. This is rust. It's caused by oxygen and it's called oxidation. Okay, we breathe oxygen every day. If it can do this to a chain, just imagine what it can do to your lungs. I'm sorry, no, I have to read it proper. I have to, I have to. <sighs> we breathe oxygen every day. If it can do this to a chain, just imagine what can it do to your lungs. Share to help raise awareness about the danger of oxygen. Write that down, write that down. Yup, 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 you're right. In case of emergency, oxygen masks will drop down in front of you. You can't force me to wear a mask. I want to speak to the manager. Okay, go right ahead. Do it. And suffocate, probably. I mean, sheesh. Dear every cashier in America, the proper response to thank you is you're welcome. Kiss my ass, Tom. I know this was posted seven years ago, or a little over seven years ago, but again, kiss my ass. Not no problem, and you're supposed to thank me. Um, no. I'm at work. I don't have to thank sh And you are sh Again, I'm so sorry to the editor. I apologize. I'm trying to watch it, I swear. But you guys give me all of the anger-inducing subreddits. Millennials are so entitled. Actually, the you're welcome no problem issue is simply a linguistics misunderstanding. Older people tend to say you're welcome. Younger people tend to say no problem. This is because for older people, the act of helping or aciating someone is seen as a task that's not expected of them, but is them doing extra. So it's saying I accept your thanks because I know I deserve it. No problem, however, is used because younger people feel not only that helping or assisting someone is a given and expected, but also that it should be stressed that your need for help was no burden to them, even if it was. Basically, older people think help is a gift you give, younger people think help is an expectation required of them. I wonder why we feel it's an expectation required of us. No, 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 I, I really, really wonder why. Why would that be? I was negligent. My dog died, but it's your fault. Oh my god, okay? Tastes good, but will kill your dog. I'm giving this one star for the sole reason that there's no indication that your dogs will die if they get into the package. We did not know that xylitol is deadly to dogs. One single piece of this gum is enough xylitol to kill most dogs. I bought two of these three packs. My wife took the packages out of the box and placed them on our counter so I would remember to take them to work in the morning. Our Australian Shepherd has a bad habit of counter surfing and you put it on the counter? Look, I'm sorry, even if you didn't know that this specific thing was toxic to dogs, you still put something that you didn't know about in the dog's reach, knowing that your dog jumps on the counter. But neither of us thought he would go after minty gum or that it would hurt him, even if he did. Really? You can't be serious. He pulled them down and ate four of the six packs. We became concerned when we woke up the next morning to the floor covered in vomit and our dog acting strangely. There's no antidote for this toxicity. 
He spent two nights in the dog ICU getting fluids, dextrose, plasma, liver protectants, and over $5,000 later, he died of a massive hemorrhagic stroke. My 15-month-old toddler spent all last night walking around with my dog's favorite toy, calling his name, second word he ever said, uh-huh, and looking everywhere my dog usually hangs out, trying to find his best friend. The least they could do was put a warning on the label. We had no clue it was toxic to dogs. That's not their fault. It's not. They created a product not for dogs. It, 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 seriously, it's not for dogs. A spearmint gum. A chewing gum. And you thought that your dog that jumps on the counter, the dog that jumps on the counter and messes with stuff and probably eats things, wasn't going to do that to this. Because you assumed that your dog wouldn't be interested in the scent of frickin' spearmint. You know what? The blame is on you here. Not the company that manufactured gum the way that most companies have for ever. Jesus. Not their problem. It's yours. Be more responsible with your damn animal. All right? And not because the animal... This isn't the animal's fault either, by the way. It's not their fault. It's yours. So when your toddler's walking around, sad that the dog is gone, know that it's not the gum company. It's not the dog's. It's your fault. My boss offered me a 40% increase in salary and a big promotion. I turned him down. Why? I don't want to be handed something. I want to earn it. Maybe I'm just built different. No, you built stupid. Karen blames the army and the state firefighters to cause the fire they're trying to extinguish because they're using diesel vehicles. Huh? I watch in astonishment as fire trucks pass by, uh, blah, 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 I'm on my Twitter with fossil fuels aggravating the situation they're trying to improve. Thank you to all those who risk their lives putting out fires and firefighters. What? Okay. What's the alternative, Karen? I don't like fossil fuel anything either. What is the alternative? I'm not kidding. What should the fire departments in your local area do to stop using diesel in their giant emergency vehicles? When a Karen calls the cops because your Halloween yard decor is too realistic, I mean, at least they came over and laughed and didn't come over and try to beat the crap out of you. That is... that... that yeah, it'd freak me out, but I know it wouldn't be real, because I'm not a moron like that woman probably was. Today I read a post in... Uh, ND North Dakota? I don't know. From a person originally talking about service dogs being in stores, which prompted many replies. My issue is that the discussion about dogs evolved into a debate about Karen terminology. My name is Karen. I don't care. And has been for 857 months. Hold on one second. You're 71 years old. Just had to make that obvious for people out there. It breaks my heart that my name has and still is being used as a label to denote every bad behavior of certain individuals. Please use some other label, some other adjective. I don't deserve this kind of false recognition. All right, I don't think there's a single Karen in the world who's a normal, nice person who's being mistreated by anybody over the Karen meme. All right, Karen, okay? I'm sure, I'm certain, I'm a thousand percent certain, even though that can't even really be possible, that most Karens are fine. Most of them are just fine and don't care and aren't pieces of actual trash. Just like you. You're probably not an asshole. Just... No one out there is going after people named Karen. Like, actively going after people named Karen. Just because someone said, OK Karen, once to you on Twitter or Facebook or wherever the hell else you dwell, does not mean you're being persecuted. People like you have got to stop looking for ways to be persecuted so you have a reason to complain. You can complain without a reason. Go for it. We all do. You don't need to be persecuted. Stop. I was looking up reviews for the movie we went to see last night and thought this was hilarious. I did not know we could do Google ratings for movies. I don't know why. If I could rate it a zero, I would. Jump scares made me spill my slushy twice. Natalie was so pathetic. Horrible, ugly girl. A little girl like her should not be saying the B word. It's a movie, sweetheart. All this movie does is promote exorcisms. I'm a nun myself. Are nuns allowed to just go out and watch movies? I mean, I don't know what the nun lifestyle is. My only real nun knowledge comes from Sister Act. So that should tell you what I know. But what? I feel deeply disrespected. It puts a bad persona on uh, kind of like Sister Act, right? I'm sorry, I'm not going to continue to read your review. I'm not. No. 
Huh, oh, you can't make me. No, stop. We got Happy Meals from McDonald's today for lunch. Pokemon cards with a prize. I knew Pokemon was demonic, even when my son was little, but never saw the cards up close and personal. Wow. Energy is attached and is even capitalized like it's deified? After we threw them away, we had a great conversation about not allowing anything that's not God into our homes and lives, even if our friends are doing it. Call me legalistic, old-school, fanatical. I squarely own that one. Fanatical? Yeah, that shouldn't make you proud. But I won't allow magic, sorcery, new age, eastern religion, or anything- Eastern religion, okay. Or anything with energy attached in my home. Okay, good for you, no one cares. Am I a joke to you, Karen? Oh, this doesn't count. This doesn't make me mad. This makes me want to give the kitty a little kiss right on the head. Ban the Old Grass Beer Festival. Do your part as a citizen of Golden to counteract the glamorization of alcoholism by not going to the beer festival. Golden? As in Golden, Colorado? As in home of Coors? One of the largest beer names on Earth? Look, I just... There's a lot wrong with Coors. It is pee water, just like most domestic United States, American beer, blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. I don't care. They're all terrible. But seriously, with this, Golden is a family-oriented town and will not be introduced to... Introduced to alcohol? Keep alcohol and drug at... You're just adding... To try and strengthen your argument, and it just makes it seem more fun. Christian mom moves to town with the largest brewery in the world. Residents like to drink beer. Christian mom, I can't believe someone moved to a town with the largest brewery in the world and expected people not to be drinking beer. Again, say what you will about Coors and all the American pea beers and blah blah blah, but Golden, Colorado does have the largest single brewing facility operating in the world. So just, that's something, man. I told him as an expert in the field, I strongly recommend wearing it, but he just kept bringing up his rights. Hmm, that's his problem. Warning, due to a shortage of competent robots, some of our staff are humans and can react unpredictably when abused. Thank you. Continue to call it abuse. Quit calling it anything but abuse. I'm not kidding. Even if it's mistreatment or other negative things, call it abuse because it is. Someone's coming in, acting like a little punk and abusing random people. That's what they are doing. It is abuse. Neighbor stopped me while I was walking my dog and told me I shouldn't walk her without bags. None of your business. I pulled out the container of bags I always carry. She immediately pivoted to saying I should carry the bags in the open so she knows I have them. Oh, just to let you know, the reason I said none your business is while, well, yeah, you should be cleaning up after your animals, doesn't mean that that gives you the right to walk up on somebody who doesn't seem to have any bags with them and tell them what to do. Get out of here. You're not my mom. You're not the one in charge of me. Don't talk to me like that. So the hubs and I went out to the hubs and I went out to eat and grab some drinks at Outback. There were plenty of empty tables, but the hostess told us it would be about 15 minutes. After about 10, we decided to order drinks. 15 minutes was fast approaching and no table yet. I asked to speak to the manager. Wow. He came out and told us it might be a couple more minutes. I told him that the drink should be on the hat and not your fucking choice, since we had to wait so long. And after some discussion back and forth, the drinks ended up not on the house, but on him. Literally. I threw my beer on his shirt. That That's assault. Then he had the nerve to send another manager, a female, to do his dirty work and ask us to leave. Which was very unprofessional and unmanly of him. What an asshat. To top it all off, I had to pay cash meant for my son's school lunch. Oh, right. Punish your son because you decided to assault someone that you... Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, this is my life. I'm so mad all the time.